In Fontana, California, the officer opened fire less than three seconds after that alleged burglar was found in the porta potty. Hey, bro. Wait for me, man. I got you. The cop administered first aid, and several other officers joined in to help, but the man succumbed to his injuries and died. Fontana police just released the body camera footage. They identified the victim as 29-year-old Devarian Kennard and said he was holding a metallic object in his hand. The object was a lighter. Prosecutors are investigating the actions of Officer Johnny Tudovaki. In the meantime, the city of Fontana has now paid Kennard's parents a million dollars to settle their wrongful death lawsuit. This incident began when a ring doorbell camera captured the image of a man taking the screen off of a townhouse window and then taking the screen out of view. The man returned to the first floor residence and entered through the window. The homeowner with the ring camera was away called her upstairs neighbors who dialed 911. There's a man at our neighbor's door, front door right now and we're on the phone with our neighbor and he's not supposed to be here. Okay, so what's the address? The address is Fontana police arrived a few minutes later and found the screen removed. Oh yeah. As they approached the open window, they called out. Fontana police! A few moments later, they saw the alleged burglar inside. It sounds like someone's in here. Hey, hey, don't, hey move. don't move. The man ran out the back door and into the neighborhood. All right, suspect is running. Hey, he's running towards you guys. BMA, tall, all black. He's running eastbound through the complex. The officers broadcast a description and pursued the suspect as he ran towards a construction site. Yeah, yeah, right here. Keep going, keep going. Right there, right there. Go. Stop, 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 stop. Officer Tudovaki found Devarian Kennard in the portable toilet about a thousand feet from the burglarized home. Amidst the district attorney investigation, Officer Johnny Tutuvaki remains on the Fontana Police Force, and now that is even more controversial. Hello, everybody. I'm David Schuster, and thanks for joining us. Fontana California Police Chief Billy Green is defending Officer Tutuvaki while also supporting the DA's review. Anytime a Fontana officer uses force, all facts are reviewed and analyzed to determine if the response was lawful and whether it met our high standards. But this is not the only contentious incident where Officer Tutavaki has used force. He is being sued for allegedly assaulting a man in October of 2020. Juan Gonzalez, there on the right, says he was surrendering following a domestic dispute when Officer Tutavaki tackled him and broke his hip. Video evidence appears to support the claims of excessive force. In the shooting death of Devario Kennard, the key question is whether Officer Tutavaki was justified in opening fire just two and a half seconds after finding Kennard in the porta potty. Could Officer Tutavaki have backed away and yelled for Kennard to come out with his hands up? There's also the question about race. Would Officer Tutavaki have been so fearful and so quick to shoot had Kennard been a white man instead of black? One can only hope this will all be part of the district attorney investigation. We all know that white privilege and black punishment exists. Split-second judgment calls for police are not always easy, but time and again it seems police rarely extend the benefit of the doubt to black suspects, and all too often the outcome is deadly.